Hello there, everybody. How are you? Quite a late night video, man. I hope you all enjoy the video, man. This will be uploaded tomorrow when you're all available to watch it. It's a bit late now, man. <laughs> How are you all? Hello, everybody. How are you? Are you good? Are you feeling frisky? Are you feeling like a beast? Are you feeling like an absolute tank? Like a Sherman tank? <laughs> so this video is obviously... Somebody asked me in comments to do a video about where I think the world will be in 50 years. Hello, son. Right, they asked me what, what, what my thoughts are on this subject. Where will the world be in 50 years, Danny G? Well, for starters, birth rate's going down. I mean, the way the world's going, it wouldn't surprise me if in 10 years we, we don't even have sex no more. It's like virtual sex. Have you ever seen, is it Demolition Man? I think it's Demolition Man, isn't it? With Wesley Snipes and um, Sylvester Stallone. I'm sure it's, de yeah, it's de is it Demolition Man? I'm sure it is, where it gets brought back from the ice and he meets, is it Sandra Bullock? And they go for a bit of nookie and that. They go for a bit of nookie. They get to get down. They get to get it on like Donkey Kong. And she puts this freaking headset on his head and starts enjoying herself from the like the virtual freaking experience that she's having. And then she's like, no, we don't do that in this day and age. We don't touch it's dirty. I mean, it's ever so funny, yeah, because he goes to the toilet in that movie, right? And there's no toilet roll. And he's like, yo. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to do a very good Sylvester Stallone accent, but it's like, yo, there ain't no toilet roll. <laughs> and they're like, you this, use the seashells. He's like, seashells? Well, in that time, yeah, they've got a machine and you're not allowed to swear. And if you swear, it prints you out a ticket. So my mum walks up to the machine and just goes, fuck, bitch, bastard. And just starts saying loads of words to print himself loads of tickets to use his toilet roll. Quite funny, that film. Badass film, though. Back in the day film, if you've not watched it, I, I, I would say go and watch it. But yeah, that was my point to make. The, the way it's going, I mean, obviously it's becoming fashionable now to spread the genders to like a hundred and odd genders. I mean, it's becoming very fashionable now to be non-binary, isn't it? And it is a fashion thing. I don't care what anybody says. That non-binary is ridiculous. That's something that I can never get behind, man, I never will because it's like you have to be male or female you can't and if everybody turns non-binary then nobody's going to be making babies so the human population will kind of disappear i'll tell you that straight now if that doesn't do it um well we've got lots of the crime rates just go up man i mean the crime rates never drop they only go up literally i mean you can't even unless you're somebody who's known and respected or whatever you can't walk around your local area no more your kids can't go and play in the park do you know what I mean? It's just, oh man, it's a bit rough out there, mate. You know, it's like Beirut in most places. I mean, most local park, parks now are literally like World War II. <laughs> I'm telling you straight. And then everybody's depressed and the gap between rich and poor gets bigger. Do you know what I mean, right? And everybody's more depressed. We've got more suicides as well. So there's even less people on the planet. And then you've got all the pandemics that come around, pandemics, pandemics, whatever you want to call them, yeah? And that's just wiping loads of people out. So the way the world's going, there may just be an island left in the middle of somewhere after everywhere's been flooded because all the ice caps are melting. Do you know what I mean? Where there's just me sat there. Just, just Danny G, Tony G, sunbathing on an island in the middle of the Pacific. The last two people left on Earth and that. Do you know what I mean? And the problem is, we're too old to be making babies. So we've the last two people. Just sat there, right, bub? Right, right, Danny, yeah, I love you, bub, yeah. Just me and you, bub. It's just, just me and you, bub. <laughs> the world's going to shit. Either something has to change, or all jokes aside, the world's going to shit. I mean, Jesus Christ. The, the think of new ways to divide you every day. I mean, now they've got you divided on sexuality, religion... Race, gender, postcode, nationality. Is there any more divisions? <laughs> There's probably more, but I can't think of. 
Yeah, they got you divided in that many ways now. There's no way you can, like the people can come together and do anything really. To be fair, so where's the world going to be in fifty years? <laughs> Either in a genderless society <laughs> where nobody actually does do, does the do anymore. Nobody gets it down. <laughs> nobody does the down and dirty. So then there's no kids being born. So the human race sw slowly just starts to dwindle out. We, uh, somebody sets off no, loads of nuclear bombs and a continent blows up, like a whole continent, just boom, boom, bamba. Do you know what I mean? And everybody dies. Um, we mess about with the ecology of the earth and the weather that much that it goes, Mother Earth goes, you know, Gaia, she's like, Mr. Man, you've been messing with me long enough. I'm coming back for your ass. I'm going to get your ass, Mr. Postman. <laughs> I'm going to get your ass, Mr. Postman. And she just bites us all in the ass and lets off a big flood and loads of volcanoes. And we all die that way. Or extraterrestrials get sick of watching us destroy the planet. They'll just come down, little green aliens. Nanu, 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 nanu. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> nanu, nanu. No, 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 no. No, no, human. Zap, zap. <laughs> zap, zap. Zibi, zibi. Zap, zap. <laughs> Take over the earth because they're sick of the watchers to destroy it. Let me think of any other ways even where we could go in 50 years. Oh, let's not forget AI. We could invent, we could invent the Terminator. <laughs> I'll be back. Get in the chopper. I'll be back. <laughs> invent Terminator. <laughs> Fucking Terminator police and Terminator dogs patrolling the streets. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a possibility. Um... Elon Musk could open a rift in space and time and suck us all into a freaking black hole. <laughs> that could happen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, where do I see the world in 50 years? Unless somebody puts a stop to all the madness that is going on in this crazy-ass world. I feel like I'm in some kind of computer game nowadays. I don't even feel like I'm living in the real world. I honestly think that I was kidnapped about 10 years ago, right? Hooked up to the Animus. <laughs> and I'm living the life of Assassin's Creed, man. I swear to God, this ain't no real place. This goddamn shit's the Matrix. This ain't real. This goddamn shit ain't real. Goddamn, goddamn. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm telling you. I swear to God. It's like, it just doesn't seem real to me. This, this, this existence that we live in. It is nothing compared to 10 years ago. So where is it going to be in 50? Oof, oh my God. Poverty will be rife. There'll be way fewer jobs because robots will take over them all. Um, the populace will be down. There'll be nowhere near as many people left, I wouldn't imagine. There'll be some way found to get rid of everyone. <laughs> all the rational people of my generation will all be gone, will all be, in the, will all be buried. Do you know what I mean, right? So that's, you're all screwed then. <laughs> you're all screwed then, Jesus. I imagine it'll be a mixture between... Like, there's a few films I can bring into what I think the, the, it'll be like in 50 years. So let's put... Let's put Terminator in there. <laughs> Independence Day. This is, what, this is what it could be like, like all in a one -er. So Terminator, Independence Day. Ready Player One. <laughs> and San Andreas. <laughs> San Andreas is not a film. Um, New Jack City. Some, I don't know. <laughs> Something. A mixture. Oh, yeah. And, and what's it called? Um, the Purge. And The Purge. All mixed into one. That's the society you can live in. Have you ever watched Mad Max? Give you a bit of an idea. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. You, you are living in Mad Max world. People are eating people. Looking, burning them, carving them up. You know what I mean? There ain't no shops no more. You've got to grow your own vegetables. <laughs> half the planet's been nuked. The other half's attacked by aliens. We've got some crazy fucking gangsters running around, listening to drill, shooting everybody to see with masks on. <laughs> no police force. <laughs> no government. Nobody who can protect anything. The world's absolutely done in. That's the way I see it. In, one sh in, in whatever way, shape or form. Either done in through... Revolution that leads to like mass genocide, done in through nuclear war, done in through, as daft as it sounds, an alien or meteor attack, 
Done in through Mother Nature, having enough fighting back and unleashing loads of floods and volcanoes, right? Or done in through the populace becoming like a Mad Max reality, like the purge, where they just run around killing everybody because the, the police can't do shit no more. Do you know what I mean, they're about as much used to chocolate ashtray, about as much used to chocolate fire guard. So, yeah, that's where I see the world in 50 years, screwed in some way, shape or form. Probably a nuclear waste ground or something. Seriously, like that's if we're all alive by then. Go to sleep. Love you, princess. Have a good day at school. Good luck on your exams. Good luck on your exams. See you in the morning. Love ya. Yeah, so that's where I see the world. Absolutely screwed. I feel sorry for my grandkids. I'll tell you that straight. I feel sorry for my grandkids. So there you go. That's a lot for you to get your teeth into. So many different scenarios for you to discuss. So many different things for you to think about. Um, let me know what you think in comments. What do you think the world's going to be like in 50 years? Where do you think we're going to be in 50 years? Do you think we're going to be in any one of them scenarios? And when I say aliens, I say it with a pinch of salt, you know. I mean, there is definitely 100% aliens out there. But whether they're in flying saucers and they're capable of getting here, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? So just take that bit with a pinch of salt. But one of the other ones is probably very viable, you know. <laughs> I'm not even joking, right? Um, have a good day, everybody. If you like the videos, let me know in the comments. Hit the likes. Hit the bell button if you haven't already. Keep subscribing. Uh, go check out the new golf channel, Daddy G Viking Golf. Have a good day, everybody. Much love and respect. Peace out.